I might actually be allergic to Paris. If you just let go and fall into the garden that you grew. That train ride literally made me so rough. I wore a sheer white shirt, so that was a really good choice. By the Eiffel Tower. We're all dressed up to go out for Paris. We're all so cute. Welcome to the Paris vlog, guys. Currently walking to like a boat tour of the Seine. We arrived in Paris after a six hour bus ride. 80% of us immediately locked onto the Mamma Mia aesthetic of it all. I'm really having a good time. This is the outfit. Our tour director did not make the metro. He was trying to get some people through the barrier. 35 of us just had to navigate French metro system and we left him behind. There it is. Guys, we're straight up in Paris right I now. I know, I know. nicknames. No, okay. <laughs> What's the word for the thing you eat after lunch? Supper. Get out of here. You made friends on that train? Yeah. That was the worst train of my entire life. We skipped the first train because it was so packed. The second train we got on. Still packed. Still very packed. And then we pulled up to the station and it was like the most people I've ever seen waiting at a platform. And we were like, there's no way they'll get on. But they did. And they just... That train ride literally made me so rough. <laughs> we're currently walking back to the hostel. I had at least two dollars. <laughs> Which is not that much. It's so weird that it happened twice. What kind of shooting stars on the side of my bed? We're currently doing our bus tour through Paris. It's raining really hard, but we wanted to come see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I wore a sheer white shirt, so that was a really good choice. Just singing and dancing in the rain. We just got out at the Arc de Triomphe. Oh, this was one of the things I was most excited to see. We just had our tour of Versailles and now yes. we're trying to find the gardens because we didn't get our ticket in time to see it before. On a mission because if we're not back in the bus they're going to leave without us. Absolutely losing our minds over nothing. Everything seems so funny right now. Just exhausted, I think, is the vibe. All my roommates are out of the Moulin Rouge, and I really thought my night was over. And then I found out we have rooftop access in this hostel. When I tell you I was making jokes about being allergic to Paris because my allergies have been really bad, I went outside instantly. I could feel it in my throat. I could feel it in my sinuses. I might actually be allergic to Paris. I might go out there again though, it was really nice. Good morning. We're on our way to the Louvre Museum. We located the room with the Mona Lisa. on your cheek. 
jeans. We cannot find our way out of this room. This is the most confusing building I've ever been in in my entire life. Hi guys, the following clips are footage of the Paris catacombs, which holds the skeletal remains of over 6 million Parisians. I'm respectfully sharing this experience as it was the highlight of Paris for me. If you don't wish to see the catacombs, please skip to the next timestamp chapter. Guess who made it to the catacombs with 4 minutes to spare after navigating Paris's transportation system on my own? Only I could lose my Paris Metro card when I only had three stops left to make. Tell me how I accidentally navigated to like a different Joe and Joe. I just put it into the GPS and it was like, yeah, 30 minutes away and I thought that sounds accurate. And now I've ended up on the opposite side of Paris that I need to be. And I recognized that the station was not the same name, but I was like, oh, we're just getting off and walking. Nope, wrong side of Paris. I don't think I know anyone on this planet who is as directionally challenged as I am. Not once did I feel like I had my our last summer moment. <laughs> They're probably sugar. This is Mama Mia. most annoying Parisian tourist and it feels what, 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 fantastic. What Paris, oh, we're just gonna play Abba now. Honey, honey, how he thrills me. Uh-huh, honey, honey.